Sometimes you have to have a conversation with nature. Hi, nature. The answers don't always come where you expect them to. Nature is for us to conquer as our own fears. What is this thing? It looks like a, um, looks like a coral something. Very good at identifying all the flaw, flaw, fauna and flora, whichever's the one and whichever's the other. We'll be there. The beautiful thing about nature is if you've studied tracking like I have, you always, you're never lost. You're never lost. The moss grows on the north side of the forest and you always know where you are and there's always food. If you, um, if you rummage, if you know how to rummage and get the right kind of, <clears throat> you can capture small squirrels or roast them or any kind of, you can get fruits, some trees and stuff will yield fruits. You can't eat bugs so much. God damn it. Life is about aiming toward the farther precipice. Whether that means among your peer group or in your business or fashion wise in my case. So you get maybe two fanny packs instead of one. But you always have to be pushing. It's okay. We'll probably hit there by, we'll camp, we'll break camp over there. Set camp. Break is when you're through camping. If you spend enough time truly absorbing nature and allowing nature to truly absorb you, and you become one with the woods and the creatures, then you truly fuse and bond. And you are nature. And you pronounce it a little bit differently, like the true nature people do. You say nature. See how I did it? Now they call me Woody. Sometimes I do my best thinking on the trail. So I got a list going today of all the different kinds of pine cones and also um, nut things so that later on I can look them up on, on an, maybe there's an app for a phone or something. And you collect these things and you write them in your notebook. Forgot my pencil today, but. Indigenous persons have looked out across the plains and meadows and vistas since time immemorial. And what do they see in those plains and vistas? They see a reflection of themselves reflected in the sky and the bears and the sun. And, well, you don't see reflections in the sun, I guess, but you get my general meaning. Your spirit kind of soars along with your view, your vista. And so it brings peace and harmony to the body and spirit, both soul and body and spirit. If Henry David Thoreau taught us anything, it's that peace comes through nature. It's, it's bundled with nature. I don't know that he used the word bundled, but. Oh my goodness, so this one we call the octopus. Even though it's way more than eight, it's like octo, octo, octopus, almost. It's got so many arms coming out of it, they almost look like hoses, just, hanging down from the central limb of the tree. And to me, it puts me in mind of eels maybe coming off of a, maybe a tree trunk, like eels coming out of a tree, but the eels have been frozen into a branch shape, or maybe it's hair, like incredibly thick tree, like, like the trunk, like the branches. Life, life can be wild and you wanna make sure you are able to view it.